Okay, so we've got our working uh, to-do list, and if we run it, it looks a bit like this. Bring that over here. So I'm gonna add a task. Uh, you know, eat pizza. And I've already got some things entered, so uh, they're already on the list because I was testing the program. Um, so what we want to do is we were thinking about um, it came up uh, in, in my class where if I click delete all, it just deletes everything. Now what happens if I click that accidentally? You know, shouldn't there be some kind of confirmation uh, or warning before I do that? And so that uh, was a really great idea. So let's uh, take a look at how to do that. And as it turns out, it's surprisingly easy to do. Um, so I'm going to get us started. I'm going to take a look here at the Python interpreter. And so I'm going to go to Python. And I'm going to use something called TK message box. So I'm going to import that. And what this does is it gives us a bunch of uh, different types of message boxes that we can use uh, to, to pop up on our screen and to uh, you know, make, some, make some choices. So basically the, the syntax is, is quite simple. We use TK uh, message box. Note the capitalization. This is Python 2.7. And we're going to look at three different kinds. The first one is show info. So what we got to do is put in a title. And I'll show you where that's going to go in a second and a message. So I'm just going to use the words title and message. So if I hit enter, okay, it pops up somewhere. Ah, it pops up behind the, there. So you'll see the title goes here in the title bar and then the message pops up here in this icon. Now this icon will be different depending on your operating system. So I just click OK. And you notice it, it didn't close but it would when we're doing a full fledged program. So let's get rid of that for now. So notice it's sent back OK because that's what we clicked. Um, the second type is sh oops, show warning. And the only difference between those two is the icon is a little bit different. You got the warning icon. So again, title and message. Now title and message can be anything. And we're going to be using this a little bit later. Click OK and OK comes back to the console. And then the last one is probably the one we really want to use is ask yes no and so this one might be you know confirm delete all because that's what we were talking about earlier and message might be do you really want to delete all let's hit enter on that one and so you can see so confirm delete all appeared up here. Um, you can say warning or you know please confirm whatever. And then do you really want to delete all? And yes or no. So if I click yes, this is an important part. It returns true. So this is a boolean. So boolean values are true or false. Um, if I run it again, try it again. I click no. It returns false. Okay, so the show info and show warning return OK, while the ask yes no returns true or false. Okay, so we're going to take that and put that into our to do list program. So, the first thing we're going to do is import TK message box. TK message box. And so, what I want to do is I want to go down to the delete all function. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it confirmed. It doesn't have to be that, but something logical. Confirmed equals TK message box. And this one is ask yes, no. And say, you know, put me at the top, please confirm. Okay, I'm going to confirm. And the message is do you oops, do you really want to delete delete all? So what will happen is if I click yes, confirmed will equal true. If I click no, confirmed will equal false. So what I have to do here is if confirmed, I can just leave it like that. I can say if confirmed, so if true, or I can do equals true. It's up to you, whatever is more logical for you. And then basically I just need to indent that. So I'm going to check 
to see if I am really serious about this. If I click yes, confirmed is true, it will delete the list and update the list box. Let's save it and run it. Okay, so let's uh, call, um, I say eat pizza. So I'll, I already have a uh, eat sushi on the list, so I must like eating. So now I'm gonna click delete all and see what happens. Okay, a little message box comes up, please confirm. Do you really wanna delete all? I'll click no, okay, nothing happened. And let's try it again. Do you really wanna delete all? I'll click yes and it deleted the entire list. So that works out pretty well. Now, just on a side note here, uh, while we're working on this sort of thing, where we have add task, now we put the error message here, please enter a task, because it was blank. Now we could use the uh, TK message box show warning, so let's, let's go ahead and add that to our program. It makes it look a bit more professional, a bit more kind of, kind of real actually, right? Um, so we have here, if the task does not equal blank, you know, append, but if it does, we use this here, display. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna go TK message box. Um, now I'm gonna do show warning because uh, I want it to be right in people's faces, but you can do show info, it doesn't matter. So um, warning, you need to enter a task. Let's save that. So you can see how it just, it just takes one or two lines to get these things working. Let's run it. Okay, so, if I, so nothing's there. If I click Add Task, warning, you need to enter a task. Okay, so if I enter, so eat pizza, add task, doesn't pop up. So there are other, other types of TK message boxes. You know, do a little Google search, you can find uh, the various options, but those two are probably the main ones that we're going to be using uh, for now. That is it.